welcome to the daily insights that matter. The SPIs have been investing extensively in Indian equities to the tune of 23,152 crore rupees in May so far, making it reach a six month high. This is on the back of strong macroeconomic data and a good earning season. Let's discuss this. FPIs of foreign portfolio investors have made a substantial investment of 23,152 crore rupees in the Indian equities during the current month of May so far. This number is even expected to go upwards towards the end of the month on the back of increased favour for Indian securities. FPIs were net sellers for the first two months of 2023 in Jan and Feb after pulling out almost 34,000 crore rupees after which they turned net buyers. The month of March saw 7,936 crore, while April saw 11,630 crore rupees of net infusion. The May month so far saw the highest inflow in the last six months to the tune of 23,152 crores. FPI have increased their investment in Indian securities on the back of strong domestic macro outlook and a good earning season by most Indian companies. Additionally, with the inflation easing in the US and India, there are lower chances of a further rate hike by the Fed and the RBI. Also, a stronger rupee have brought foreign investors towards Indian shores. Lastly, the recent market volatility and correction have provided some attractiveness to valuations and the pickup in demand. Inflation has been above the RBI's upper tolerance limit of 6% since January 2022, which also pushed RBI to adopt an aggressive rate hike cycle from May 2022 to February 2023. However, consumer prices in India are showing further signs of moderation. In April, India witnessed a significant drop in retail inflation, with the rate declining from 5.66% in March to 4.7% in April. This is a special occurrence as it marks the first time since November 2022 that inflation has dipped below the 5% mark. Similar to the preceding two months, a favourable base effect played a crucial role in driving the substantial decline in inflation. However, there were also visible signs of price momentum easing in certain components of the consumer price index basket. The indices for eggs, edible oils and cereals falling on a month-on-month -month basis among food items. In April, retail inflation took a pleasing plunge to its lowest point in a year and a half thanks to the combination of a favourable base effect and a gentle dip in certain food prices. This development has finally granted us some respite from the relentless grip of persistent price pressures. The core inflation rate too has taken a dip. We can anticipate further soothing of inflationary woes on the back of decreasing commodity prices. The lag effects of monetary tightening and the lingering influence of high base effect are all poised to join forces and likely ease the inflationary burden. What does all of these news mean for you? Inflation is on a downward trajectory and it could be further eased by the lag impact of monetary tightening and high base effect. This will have an indirect positive impact on you. The increased interest by foreign investors is a positive development for the Indian economy. This goes in hand with India being an emerging market destination due to its strong macroeconomic conditions. This will have a direct positive impact on you. While I say this, this is me Rahul Hassan signing off. Have a great day and stay safe. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app Informed Investor to watch more such informative and interesting videos. Equity investments are subject to market risk. Read all investment related documents carefully. Visit www.researchandranking.com.